five contestants from across the country have battled it out in the quarter flavor kitchen. Four have already been eliminated. The pace is picking up and the challenge is getting tougher. Whose cooking is worth one million Kenya shillings? Will this week's contestants handle the heat? Will the ingredients throw them off? The judges have their jobs cut out for them. Hi, my name is Kobe Kihara. I love everything about food. This is why this is going to be such an exciting journey for me. I am Chef Benjamin Yaga. I've worked in some of the greatest fine dining restaurants in Nairobi. Join us while we take you through this journey of culinary mastery. The contestants are even closer to realizing their dreams and bagging a million shillings. Will some go home crying? And will some stay on to fight another week? Well, you have to find out. Moving on to today's show, let's see what's going to happen. Are there going to be rivalries or alliances? Let's find out. Amina, please step into the Fuata Flavor Kitchen. Amina, she's a low-profile lady. Yeah, Hannah Maringo. Sumbui watu, wala sigubana gina watu. Uwa niko peaceful peke yangu na nanyo mbani. I'm a divorcee. I have two kids and she's my mama. I used to admire her. She can be cooking even on our wedding. I used to admire her. That's how I picked up. There's some things I'll do for that fish. We'll see it. I can't say now. We have almost 30 minutes to go. Now what do I do? If I didn't do it faster, I'll miss up some things. I feel there's very good flavors coming out of the food. I want to see how much more can come out. Next, we have Janet. I have five siblings, uh, two brothers and uh, two sisters. I'm the third born. My parents are back at home in Osonga. They think my cooking is wonderful. Last time, Chef Ben said that uh, I should move out of my comfort zone, and that is what I'm going to do today. I see a similar thing going on here compared to what Tenda is doing. I've uh, followed the advice to the latter. I'm basically hoping it could take me to the next level. Michael, please step up. Today, I'll be making an Eastern European dish. Cooking has been part of my life for a very long time. I started cooking when I was about 10. I love it, and that's why I came on the show. Many people just think cooking is a hobby, just something you do on the weekend. For me, I take it very seriously. Being in the competition, I think it's a good way of gauging my ability in the kitchen. I'll get to learn a lot of things from seeing what other people can do. You know, when you're in there, reality isn't what it seems. Things are different. First impressions, looks terrible. I'm yet to see it on the plate. Together, regardless of how you tasted, your meal just did not look great. Edwin? Unfortunately, the journey has come to an end. I didn't expect Edwin to go. We bonded really. And I thought, you know, you know, we'd push it all the way to the end, so. We now have Javé. I'm an official coach for the IAAF, the International Federation for Athletics. I'm Mauritian. Um, my previous posting was in Mongolia. Now it's my third year here. Final in Kenya, arts director and French teacher as well. I grew up in a family where people like cooking, people like eating, and we're quite festive. When we call each other, we always ask, what have you cooked today? How do you make it? And what's new? and also my daughter she likes my food very much. This is kind of motivation to keep me in the mood of cooking. Cooking uh, the basil along with the, the pasta, so that is the taste of the basil. This sausage was quite uh, salty. I preferred to boil it a little bit. I was impressed with what he made, but he had some Hawaiian tropical thing going on, and then he had Italian, and then he had the sausages, the pineapple and the peppers. And today, he didn't come through. Javé, to be honest, your meal did not translate for me. As it gets harder, the strongest will continue to move. Let's see who's going to, to finish at the top today. 
Tend I, come on out. I am 18, fresh from Finnish school, Finnish school Austria. Every time I make a dish, I have to make it like, you know, a signature dish that has, does not exist. If you're making something people are gonna have to eat, it has to be to its best. So I do it in a way that it's like no other. Not every day you get to cook in front of a country. So this time, your cooking techniques have increased take by millions. I've never sweated in a kitchen before. And I'm dripping like a tap and I'm over there. This is going well so far. What I want to do is I want to actually um, uh, sort of fish finger it like. That means you'll try, you'll fry it? Okay. So, yes, yes, that means I will fry it. I heard Chef Ben ask you about barbecue sauce. Uh, why, why I want barbecue sauce is because the tanginess of the actual rice itself. So the barbecue counteract that with the sweetness. You want to stay, you don't want to be eliminated and you maybe want the immunity to the side. It's like, a, it's like the cherry on top. I'm going to have really, really stiff competition. Finally, Sada. I was born in a family of six. All of them are married. I'm the third born. I'm not married. Are you feeling comfortable? <sighs> a little bit. Too many things are running inside my mind. You have so much fish. I don't know why you wouldn't want to use, you know, enough to make a good portion. I think the competition is getting tougher. People are bringing in more ideas. Our conclusion is that Sada. It's okay. You are safe. Really? Hi, contestants. Of course, one of the most interesting parts of this show is the fact that there are little secrets. Those secrets are hidden inside the kikapus in front of you. You must use all these ingredients to make your signature meal today, okay? And of course, as you look around, you can use the soko, and of course you can dip into the fridge, and the shelves are fully packed for you. Use whatever you can to make this meal fantastic. Contestants, open your baskets now. Today's ingredients are Royko, lamb's kidney, oyster mushrooms, puff pastry. I'm surprised. <laughs> what is, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's only the kidney that shocked me. I don't eat awful, I don't cook awful, I, don't, I can't even tell you what it tastes like because I haven't ever eaten it. Zaid ni ile kidney. I never cook kidneys, so we learn how to do it today, eh? Puff pastry tends to be a rather difficult ingredient to use when warm. So I suggest you leave it in the fridge until you're ready. Right, you have 45 minutes, contestants, and your time starts right now. The puff pastry is something I'm used to, so I'm not really that worried about it. I actually expected it. I have never made that pastry thing. <laughs> I've tried several times, but it backfired. So I'm hoping today it won't. Na kila kitu yuko sawa except pastry. Unajua mi ni mama mwenye nilisema na jaribu utajifundisha tu. Kwa jile vitu kama technique hizo sijawai kuona. But I'll try my best, I'll do something out of it. I'm not too much in pastries. So today we'll get into pastries. <laughs> Today's Reiko natural ingredient quick cooking tip. Ginger is known as a wonder spice as it has a wide flavor profile. Many use it as a traditional medicine. Did you know it is one of the 16 specially selected ingredients in Reiko Mchuzi mix? One way I love to use my Reiko is in my veg stir fries. In a very hot pan, add some sesame oil. Toss in your onion, ginger, mushrooms, French beans, Broccolini. Allow to cook lightly. Next up, you can add the sugar snaps, asparagus, carrots, and bean sprouts. Lastly, your sweet corn, light soy sauce. Add in one and a half Reco cubes, toss, and finally, throw in your sesame seeds. Finally, plate in a nice, presentable dish. 
Finish off with a sprinkle of sesame seeds. So who says your vegetables must be boring? Try it out. I bet you you won't regret it. And your time starts right now. Chef Ben's choice of ingredients this week seems to have thrown a curveball at the contestants. How will they fare? What is their plan, if any? Hey, Sarah, how are you? I understand your experiment. I think it's, it's only me with Amina who, who are like, we are to do it to Tafanya Nini na your best. Once we are to do it in a car, to go like, what? How are you? Good. You need to come be crazy again. <laughs> People have been trouble with kidney. That's fine. That'll be easy to go. The wild mushrooms? Mushroom is a delicate thing to cook. Good thing it's clean. If people, you know, wash it with water, then they're just going to mess it up. But that's around the sea. I don't see that confusion. That's actually more of an Italian thing. Oh, right. And uh, actually, I love it. You are. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy for this, and I'm, I'm actually psyched. Like, it's difficult for me, but it's more difficult for the rest. Michael? Yes, Kobe? What are you making us? Um, I'm still kind of like in the first stages, but definitely there's going to be some South American influences. I think for this kind of application probably um, definitely baking is being tested. Dominican, Peruvian cuisine mm -hmm. and uh, probably French classical. Maybe someone will do something different. I don't know. Just have to <laughs> wait and see. You're calmer today, I can tell. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty, pretty okay. Okay. I done it. Perfect. Yeah. Normally my problem would have been to knead it, but now that it's already kneaded, I think today it will come out nicely. So what are you making? I want to make a puff pastry casing oh. and do a stuffing for it. Okay. okay. Probably he's trying uh, to see how experimental you can become. But uh, generally, I would think probably wanted us to use the oven. Now that majority of us are avoiding the oven or something like that. Okay. Okay. Life I can bake food from Jiko, I can make a cake out of it. But if you give me an oven, I have never seen an oven. But now I can experience and I want to learn it. This is what my motivation is. How are you? Good. It's about challenges. If we're not challenged, we don't move forward. I'm sealing the levers. And now I'm about to prepare uh, tomato sauce. Okay. Um, Creole style. So the big challenge is to make this kidney look good and taste good. Using the pastry with some wisdom, I should say. <laughs> it's uh, like African natives that ah. are in tropical islands. Oh. I am learning and I'm happy to, to continue learning. Yeah, it's a good opportunity. So contestants, we now have 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left. No one went in there with a solid plan because um, people were uncertain about certain ingredients. Some people know uh, 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 pastry, but they don't know uh, kidney. Some people know kidney, they don't know pastry. No. What are you doing? I'm doing fine, I think so. Okay. Yeah. So what do we have in here? I have garlic, I have uh, mm -hmm. ginger, mm -hmm. I have turmeric, I have the green peas. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. okay. And all the stuff of Roiko. All right. Yeah. So you put soy sauce in here? Yeah, I did. And uh, your pastry? Ah, I tell you, I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm, I'm in between them. I don't, I don't want to say I'll die. Never say die. My pastry, not yet, yeah. not yet. I'm bringing now, just now. So, so. I hope I'll just do it, sir. So. All right, so, so. How many pastry, nafanyo nini? But we are told you have to use all everything from that kick-up. Yeah, we'll use. While Amina struggles with what to do with the pastry, Michael, who seems to have it under control, still has some challenges of his own. Dread, fear, uncertainty. So just like the words that I would use to like describe what people are feeling right now. What are you going to do? So I see basil, I see parsley. Yes, um, definitely that's going to be for the mushroom. I'm going to do a bit of a fricassee. And uh, that's going to go with the kidney, which I've never cooked, never eaten. 
the scariest thing to me. It's awful. That's for me, I'm like, no. I feel your oven is on. Yes, it is. So you plan on baking something? Exactly. Well, uh, we are fast for you, yeah? Exactly. This is new territory, but I'll make it work. It's our self. Okay. Tendai, on the other hand, seems a whole lot calmer. Does he have a solid direction this time round? Mm, Tendai. Have you ever used puff pastry before? No, I've never, but thing, things that you've never used before, there's always a way to work around them. Mm. It, was, it was just mainly racing with, with, with time and the execution. What's your direction? So there's this French thing my mom once taught me about a while ago. It's, a, it's, it's like a cup. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm just making two just to put on the safe side. You feel that uh, puff pastry is thick enough? It's, it's looking pretty thin though, mm -hmm. as well, at least. Yeah. Well, that's you. Thank you. Keep an eye on your pastry, contestants. Keep an eye on your pastry. With 20 minutes left, Chef Ben notices something not quite right with Janet's pastry. Is your pastry cooked? It's almost. It's almost cooked? Yeah. But you, you're not using any heat there? I switched it on and then uh, I don't know how it went off. But when, when I looked, uh, probably I might have closed it maybe too hard then the, 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 the air from out the cold air caused it to go off, but I didn't notice. It's off. Luckily, chef saved me. Told me to check, <laughs> yeah. Sweet corn, peppers, Sweet corn. peppers, onion, onion, garlic, curry powder here, uh, all spice, and I'm just about to add the uh, mushrooms just now. Tendai, as Chef Ben notices, is also having a problem with his oven. Okay, how's your pastry? It's, I don't know, it's pretty quiet. It's rising, though. yeah, but it's trying um, a bit. You might want to check the heat on that. Could you just take that out? Just pull it out. Um, I'm not sure what you're trying to make there, but... Uh... It burnt a bit on top, and that was because, one, um, uh, the pastry itself was not, it, 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 had, it was too warm, it just kept out too warm, so prior before even starting, so it was, didn't rise fast enough to the oven itself, it's heat, so it's, it's fire, not, not the elements, so uh, it's direct fire. That's risen well, but it's burnt. I don't know whether you still want to serve that. Just think about that, yeah? You have plenty more pastry. You have 15 minutes to go. You have 15 minutes to go. The heat. Yeah, there's so much tension. Well, I don't know. I think it's the first time Mr. Wema is half this week. Okay. And, um, you know, I don't think too many of them are uh, regula regulating the ovens, oven heat quite well. Mm. So, I'm worried about that. Javis gets onto his pastry with under 15 minutes. Amina is looking lost and unsure of what to do with the pastry. Will she fold under pressure? You, now you have to think about that, yeah? I try and think how you're going to do that. It's either baked or not, I don't know. I'll make it like chapati. But that thing, absolutely, I've never seen. Me, I'm, now is when I'm learning these things. I don't know the techniques of those things, you know. So, uh, God help. Hi, Amina. Are you okay? Are you a bit frustrated? Um, no. I was frustrated first with the pie. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. But thanks God. You figured it out? I figured it out. But the emotion came here when Kobe told me, why don't you use an oven? I said, ah, oven, I don't know. The oven wasn't working for you? I don't know how to use an oven. Don't call it. Don't call it. No, it's okay. I know, it's a lot of pressure. It's okay. Don't cry. It's all right. <laughs> I'm the only one who doesn't know how to use oven. But, uh... Them, all of them know. It's only me. <laughs> you're amazing, you're amazing. And you don't need to have an oven to be a great cook. Miss Sarah? Sarah, I learn. When I go back home, I learn. Because before I never thought I'll come for this competition, it was not in my mind. But now, I uh, put interest in it, I'll do it. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, thank it's you. Drawn nicely. Thank you. Mm. I'm trying. Yeah. But you made it. I made it. <laughs> you know, there's time for laugh, time for cry, you know? Just make sure it cook, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm trying to make, only this side on. Keep, keep at it, yeah? Make yeah. sure you finish. I'm opening up. <laughs> 
I know what knife is, I know what the chopping board of green for the meat is red, you know, such a thing I didn't know. If I, tomorrow if I'm being told to go for another competition, I'll know how to run. Contestants, manage your time well. Much as you must finish, just make sure that your time is well managed. Plate it on time, <coughs> but not too soon. It might dry out. I saw you using chocolate. Chocolate sauce. I decided um, this time I gotta do something um, a little bit way off. So I just thought a mole, the Mexican chocolate sauce, would go well with the pastry. There's a cinnamon stick, beef bath, chocolate, there's a little bit of chili powder and lots of tabasco. So I think the hot and sweet will bounce off the savory from the pie and maybe there's acid from the, the sofrito, the vegetables. So. so what is it gonna be, a sauce? Yes, it's basically going to be a sauce to accompany the dish. At Sada's station, she seems to be breaking out of her shell and taking a bold direction. Test. I can't test because it's alcohol. Oh, yeah. so you can cook with it, but you can't taste it. Yeah. That's a bold move. And I read a book in the book that I can use. So I think I want to use more wine, white wine. wine. So I learned that I want to make your mushrooms. So I think I feel like I need to use a sauce. So I think I say, ma, ah, ah, come and take in a sauce. <laughs> it abidi ni te yo wine. Ha? Kuonja, si ezi onja. I guess you're gonna have to guess. I, I can taste it, but not tell you what it tastes Let's like. See. Okay. Yeah? I hope my instincts stasi makweli. Final leg, people. Final leg, five minutes left. Just under five minutes left. This is the halfway mark. So, Competition has only gotten stiffer. I thought my food will be nice. I have no doubt with it. If I know the recipe, I'll do it. Nothing will stop me. I, I made something called fulavo, and uh, there's a sauce called nash. And uh, apparently, uh, my salad, I didn't have enough time to do it. But I did what I can. Now have three minutes left. Three minutes left. Three. Now let's see what the judge will have to say. I'm bringing out the creativeness that was hidden inside there. Because I'm going to adventure. I'm going to be fun. I'm going to be able to get to change. Change is not fun. So I'm going to be able to get to the end. I'm going to be able to get to the end. I got a pretty clean plate um, and I tasted everything. It was, it was, it was A1. So just waiting to see how it will go. <laughs> What's going on? It's in the oven? Yeah, it's in the oven. I just wanted to brown out. Okay. That's probably not the right way, but uh, I guess you have now 30 seconds left. Plating for me was a big thing. I just hope he understands that I really tried my best to do something, you know, something beautiful, something aesthetically pleasing. I really tried, so I just hope he sees that. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, Mbili, Moja, stop. 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 I'm, ho I'm hoping he would say quite different from what he's used to. <laughs> I hope it am wow this time at our Pia Mimi ni meandama nyayozake za kwa adventurous. What would Chef Ben have made using this week's secret ingredients? With today's secret ingredients, I'm going to make a lamb kidney pie. So, to our lamb filling, just make sure you have all that membrane from the lamb kidney out. If you don't take this out, as you start cooking it, it will start to pop and you can easily blow up. Switch on my fire and get my pan hot. While I'm doing the kidney, I want that heat to keep coming up. I'm gonna cut my kidneys into sizable pieces, back into a plate, salt, black pepper, is that a good mix? Put some oil in my pan. So we're gonna try and flip this over. Oh, lovely. Nice browning going on there. While that continues, onions. Next, I'll put in my garlic. Next, I'll put in my carrots and mushrooms. So I'm going to use my thyme. So I'll put a good amount of thyme in there. 
and then toss the rest of this in. Is that a good stir? So I'll put in my Worcestershire sauce now, a bay leaf, and some stout. So this is gonna cook to a nice, thick consistency. So this has been cooking for about 10 minutes. Wow. Next, I want to put in some no. record beef and choosy mix. Give that a good stir. Now I'll unroll my puff pastry with a little flour on it. Give it a bit of a roll. I'll pour in my lamb kidney mixture. I'll now pinch the edges off to give it a nice look. Well, it's now ready to go into the oven. So my pie has been cooking for about seven minutes now. It's just to take a look at it. Look at that. Let's place it on my presentation plate. Lovely herb garnish. There you go, lamb kidney pie. Janet, let's see what okay. you need. This is a lamb kidney vulavo with the vegetables, spices, roiko, the sauce. It's a mixture of uh, sour cream, milk, green pepper, red pepper, dill. What happened during the whole baking of the pastry? I believe uh, the heat was a bit too much. What do you say the mushrooms are? Huh? They're inside the stuff. They're okay with it. Though I wouldn't say quite impressed, but they're okay. One thing I'd like to let you know is you rolled out your pastry. It was thick enough to actually give you a good rise. By rolling it further mm -hmm. is the reason why you got such a small rise. Mm -hmm. This could have probably risen by double. Also your temperature, heat not fire. The heat that I used to bake the pastry was a bit too much. So it didn't allow it like to have the layers it's supposed to have. But it's a good effort. Thank you. And um, I hope it's enough. It's a learning process for me. And uh, everything, I'm taking it positively so that next time I improve on the same. Hi, Jove. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Let's see what you have for us. This sauce is a Creole sauce with wine, some spices, butter. This is creative. Mm. We found it good, yes, and the little tricks I tried to play around did work well. I like the onions, they're really nice. The sweetness has actually given it a really nice twist to it. I had a good surprise. Let's call it like that. You've stepped up. Just kind of think about cleaner presentations, but it's a, it's a good dish. Thank you. Okay, let's see what you have. The mushroom. I made some mushroom sauce, but I couldn't taste it. <laughs> I decided to put the liver in the puff. This is, uh, if I looked at this plate, I would definitely not put this plate next to you. So this, this for me is already a surprise and I hope it tastes just as That's good, good as a surprise itself. Is there a sauce inside the puff pastry? Actually, I fried onions, mm -hmm. coriander, green pepper. Mm. I think that's a bold move, using an ingredient you wouldn't normally use. Though, I have a comment on my part of my family, that is completely adventurous. Mm -hmm. But one thing I'm going to point out is, um, unfortunately, your puff pastry did not cook. So that's still quite raw. It cooked this, uh, the upper side and the downside. The sideways, it didn't cook. Considering it's the first time that you're doing this, using wine, making something that you can't taste, it's bold. You did step up. Pressure is yeah. on, right? Yes, it is, which okay. is a good thing. Let's okay, see what you have. so over here we have a lovu, which is filled, of course, with kidney and mushroom soup, which also has a sweet corn as well with curry powder and a sauce. Wow, I think maybe today the judge had the most positive comments <laughs> than usual. Your puff pastry is fluffy, but it's a bit burnt, but it, it, the filling is quite good. I like the sweetness from the sweet corn, the sweet peppers blends in with uh, the savory. Yes, yes. I feel like it, it just had a little less spice. I was aware that it was slightly charred on top. Um, I was aware that it didn't blend the, 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 the soup. If you could just uh, blend it, I think um, this would actually have made a really good sauce. Because yeah. it tastes great. Thank yeah. you. I'll definitely put it under consideration next time. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> What I have for you today is my play on the Moroccan pastilla. Mm -hmm. The kidney was fried off with a little bit of roiko, oyster mushrooms with a few of the button mushrooms, add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. On the side here we have a sofrito, which is just onions and different colored peppers. I just wanted to bring a little bit of color to the plate. And then on the side here we have a mole, a rich chocolate sauce, and it's quite um, hot as well. Wow. Mm. So Michael, 
Yes, chef. We have a problem, yeah? The pastry is underdone. But the pastry really was, I think, the thing that could either sink me or just make me go home. Did you taste the sauce? Yes, I did. I love the way the richness comes in first and then after the kick. That's more of like a, a bunch at the back of the head, man. It's hot. I'm confused, chef. Mm. I'll be honest. Well, uh, there's all these other things that we have to factor in as well. Okay. 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 Papa, kuna pastry, kuna ile mbuzi ya mahini ya kondo na mushrooms iko hapa. Na hiyo ni salad yangu. Sikuwahi kuweka sauce yoyote. So ni aina ya pie. Aina ya pie kuna vegetable bondani mm -hmm. na kuna cheese kidogo nimeweka. Okay. Yeah. So I just try to do my own things, you know. It looks beautiful. Thank you. So you you did a good effort there, mama. Thank you. Thank you. It's not bad. Thank you. I actually like it. Uh, you've stepped up. Uh, at least. And they said it was nice. They've tested it. I'm going to let you try your own food. Thank right? you. And you know, it's, it's comfort for you. Here, mommy. Thank you. All right, Kula. Oh, Tell lovely. us what you think. No, it's nice. <laughs> I didn't know what pastry was. I've done it and I've finished. It's a good attempt. Ni, it's, ninja to fall. Yes. Good. Ben, I'm mm. really trying to learn. Good. good. Thank you very much. Contestants, you have definitely stepped it up. Right, so of course, as always, we need to deliberate. As you know, tough is part of it. So we need to ask you to exit the Fata Flavor Kitchen, please. Right, before we get into it, your ingredients surprise me each and every single week. Well, um, every secret ingredient is pretty much going to force the contestants to start getting out of their comfort zone. So in this particular one, the idea was to see how many of them are going to use the oven. Let's start from the very beginning, Janet. Janet, she rolled out her puff pastry, forced the puff pastry not to rise. You know, that's actually why it actually ended up looking like a little biscuit. They performed well, given the puff pastry was quite a challenge. Ruan did his best. What did you think about Javé? Javé has uh, proven that he can actually take it up a notch. He didn't use the oven, but he made these little dumpling looking things with the vegetable inside, yeah. which is quite creative. Turned out to be good by shifting everything in hot oil. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I think it's, it's okay. Sada, a surprising yes. lady of mm. the day. I'm, I'm actually surprised myself. I didn't even know that she could do that. Although it was undercooked. Well, um, you know, she pan fried her uh, puff pastry. And of course, with pan frying, you'll never get it to rise. How is it you have in your kutayenda? Tendai. Tendai, even during the countdown, I think his station is still looking like a, a small war zone. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm still trying to see whether, if he's going to stay in there, see how I can actually bring it all together for him. Whatever happens, I think I'm happy with the dish that uh, I, I made. I think, you know, Young as good as he lost at. Michael. Michael. The thing that disappoints me the most with Michael is he said that that dish he made is what is supposed to take him a notch higher. That chili chocolate sauce mixed up. All over the place. Exactly. I don't really think there's any front runner right now. Anyone can go home for any reason. And then of course, our teary mama. Yes, Amina. Amina. I, I feel for Amina, you know, but she's also adventurous and obviously you can see the passion. And I've seen something different today. Okay. She actually did something different. Interestingly, she's one of the very few people who has never used an oven, but her puff pastry cooked. Exactly. And they said it was nice. Asante. Contestants, please step into the kitchen. You guys look beaten, you okay? <laughs> Yeah. All right. I think this week you definitely impressed. But as you know, not everybody's going to make it to the top. There must be a winner and definitely there must be a loser. Gervais? Janet? And Amina? Gervais, I'll start with you. Your dish was impressive, it was creative, and it was definitely out of the box. Thank you very much. I agree. I've seen something different from you. Uh, from the beginning, I've always told you, your presentations are probably what require more work, but it was a good effort, and your flavors were definitely there. Thank you. Janet, you definitely know your sauces, but your pastry broke apart. Your kidney actually might have saved you. 
Remember what I told you about cooking with heat and not fire? And that's probably one of the reasons that worked against you with the pastry. Amina, it's been a long day for you. Yeah. Right? But what I love is that despite your challenges, despite the emotions, your meal tasted great. Thank you. It's about the taste. It's about taking you to the next level every single time. Thank you. Amina, I felt, you know, maybe there was a bit of difficulty. And I also noticed that uh, you became a little emotional. The interesting thing is I actually loved your dish. Thank you. <laughs> and in this particular challenge, it's your dish that we like the best. Thank you. And because of that, you get immunity. Thank you. Yes. I mean, it just means that you are free from elimination. Thank you. I don't know what I can say. Thank Please you. exit. Please exit. I'm short of words. To be in this standard with those guys who are internet and whatever. Okay, basically my food tastes good. Now contestants, the bad news. There's only one immunity in this challenge and she has just walked out. So the rest of you stand a chance of going home. Unfortunately, Janet and Javé. You are safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been for the challenge quite successfully in general. Tendai, Michael, Sada, you definitely took it a step higher, but there were some problems. Sada, what did you think of your challenge today? I tried a little bit uh, something different. Mm. Sorry that I wasn't able to make uh, my, 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 uh, my, my pastry cook well. Sada, I keep saying that I have a soft spot for you, but my patience is running out. I'm wondering, do you still want to be in this challenge? Yeah, of course. I mean, that's the main reason why I'm... I'm here, and that's the main reason why um, I took the challenge. Well, I'm not seeing it. Michael, yes, sure. your food is intricate in the terminologies that you're using, but it does not translate on your plate. Your sauce was far too spicy, and it did not go with the kidney. And your puff pastry was raw. Is that your best? No, it's not, sure. Tendai, you seem to have a lot in your head. There's too much stuff in your head going on. And I'm almost feeling like I'm cooking for you because the number of mistakes I call out, I'm going to give up on you as well. These were the weakest for their own unique reasons. Some of you are acting like you've given up. Tendai. Yes, sir. Go. Thank you. And you think about what I've said. Sure, definitely. The game is definitely getting more, more, much, much more hotter and much, much more competitive because everyone, everyone's bringing the A1. Right now, the slightest mistake can, can, can knock you off. I'm going to throw out a question to both of you. I want you to think about it just a little bit before you even answer. Do you see yourself at the finals of Royco Forta Flavor Season 2? Yes. Michael, do you think that the meal that you made today is worth a million shillings? No. So what you visually see and what you dream about, what you imagine, why is it not translating? I think I try to do too much. Why? I just have something to prove. Not just to chef, but to myself. I have some people who doubt me, and for me, this is not even about the menu. I want to prove to them that even a world-class chef can actually like what I make and put on the plate, because they don't appreciate it. Are you letting your emotion and maybe your pride and maybe all these other opinions get the better of you when it comes down to the competition? I think so. Sada, I'll be honest, you look like you've given up. I think actually I'm taking positively his advice. I rectify the mistake. Both of you have been before me before as the last two. It's the end of the road for one of you. The other has a lot to prove. Sada, one more chance. Meaning Michael, you're out. It's the end of the road, Michael. But it's not the end of your passion. It doesn't mean that you stop here. I applaud you, Michael. You know a lot about food. You need to be able to put it together. I, I really hope that you can take the advice that you've gotten from the show and build yourself. You can go places. Thank you, Sha. That means a lot to me coming from you, especially. Please. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. Validation was actually one of the reasons I, I came to the competition. I just wanted to prove to people out there that I'm not just talking. I can actually cook. I think the decision was fair. Things are getting tougher and um, people need to wake up. But I'm hoping in the next one now, after seeing the secret ingredients, probably contestants should not be allowed to 
have anything else that might be an advantage to one. Apparently, there is somebody who is uh, seeking information from uh, a source that they're not supposed to be using. It's either a mobile phone or a notebook. And we all know that this is not allowed. Immediately after the judgment, the judges get information that rules have been broken. A tough decision is made. The contestants have to be searched to ascertain the information. <coughs> Whose bag is it? Sada. Is this yours? My goodness. Butter, brown onion, garlic clove, Swiss brown mushrooms thinly sliced, dry white wine and pure cream. Sada, that's the sauce that you made. You're not supposed to consult in any way to give you an edge. I hope you understand. It's unfair for the rest if they don't have uh, that information and you do. It would be wrong, for example, if me, I had something, a device or some notes about what we cook today and use it. It would have been wrong. And if I'm still in the competition because of the information that they obviously did not have, that would have been totally unfair. Well, yes, the, the, the rules were passed. I mean, the, the rules are definitely broken in that scenario. All of us, when we come, we leave everything of ours. The notebook, if it's the phone, even the bag, everything of ours, we give aside. And I've just talked to Sada aside. I told her, you know, that's wrong. My advice to you is to step down just because, you know, we've been working honestly throughout. One of the things that actually gave you an edge, as Kobe and I said, was the sauce. Now, unfortunately, that sauce is not yours. It's, a, it's from a book. With all that, Sada humbly accepts the judge's decision and steps down. I've realized that I made a mistake. You know, it's always good to accept the mistake you make. I have a blog to write. I have books to read. I have chickens to take care of, I have parents who love me, I have my sister who's gonna be pissed. But she's gonna understand, because I know I can beat her, despite the fact she's been to college. She has a diploma in cooking, but there's no way she can throw down better than me in the kitchen, so. I'm all worried. I know I know what's waiting for me out there. That's what I've realized. It's not, it's not okay, and it's not right. And I'm really sorry about that. <laughs>